So our next questions come from Maya, Macy, and Miss Toy. My uh, my neighbor's mom. Yes. So. Next door. <laughs> so here are the questions. Why are kids not getting sick? Or yes, they are. Okay. And she, Maya says, I know kids have a strong immune system, but why are they not getting it? But, Daddy, you know this answer. Okay, let me read the, the last question, which comes from uh, Miss Toy and Macy. It says, is it true that kids under 18 cannot die from the coronavirus? So th those are some really good questions. So kids can actually get the coronavirus. But, but they can get it like cold. Right, so they don't get too sick. Um, Only grown-ups like you and you. Mm -hmm. So grown-ups can get sick, so sick that they can go to the hospital. But um, kids don't. They don't seem to, but kids can get the virus. And they can get it, it seems, as easily as adults. So the problem is some kids may not get sick at all. So they may give the virus to other people, even though they're not sick. And that's what's really scary, and that's why kids and younger people still need to be careful not to get this coronavirus. Because even if they're not sick, they can get other people, like older adults and our grandparents, really sick. And we don't want that to happen. And so far, we have not seen anyone under the age of 18 die from the coronavirus. So this is a good thing. There have been people under the age of 18 kids who had to go to the hospital and have gotten really, really sick. But so far, none of them have died. Now, I would still be very worried about some kids who have other sicknesses. Just because no one's died yet doesn't mean they won't die. They still need to be really careful, especially if you have other sicknesses. So this section deals with prevention. <laughs> okay, it comes from Anika, Ava, and your Nai Nai. Like my, um, she, I really love my Nai Nai. She's in my heart. Oh my goodness, you're the sweetest. And I'm a star. Okay, here, let's, let's read the questions. How long will the virus last? And how long do we need to be in quarantine? How long is it going to be? I don't know. It really, it actually depends on how good we are about physical distancing. Because the more we physically distance, the more we're going to stop the virus. And the shorter the time we'll have to do it. And the more lives we're going to save. I think at least several more weeks um, before we start to see an effect. And we start to see the number of people who get sick go down. And only when that happens, and only when our leaders tell us, Will it be safe to stop physically distancing? Because right now it's really important. We have to stop this virus. And the more we do it, the shorter we'll have to be apart from each other. This question comes from Mr. Bernard. He would like to know whether it's necessary to wear a mask. Yes, we need to wear a mask. But the corona mask, the coronavirus can get through the mask. But definitely can't. Or cold can't. You know so, Mr. Bernard, that is a really good question, and I know one that's confusing a lot of people. So, if you're hearing a lot of things, let me give my opinion on this. Me too. I, yes, I, I would, I'd like to get, because I think different people can have different opinions, uh, and that's fine. Um, I think that if you are going out in public, and you are in a situation where you might get infected with coronavirus because some people who aren't sick might be spreading it. I think it is okay to wear a mask, but you have to know how to use the mask properly. You have to pretend like the front of the mask is covered in the virus. So every time you touch it, you've got to wash your hands. When you take it off, take it off from behind your ears. Don't touch the mask itself when you throw it away because then when you touch your face, the mask did nothing and you'll get infected. I don't want people to think that wearing a mask is going to be protection on its own. Even more important is hand washing. Way more important than wearing a mask is hand washing. 
but, but, but the big thing also is please don't go to a store and buy every mask in sight because there are doctors and nurses and people working in the hospitals who absolutely need these masks. If you want to buy just one box and use it for very special occasion, very special reasons when you go out, I think that is reasonable. But don't get a whole closet of them when there are when there are people in hospitals who need these to do their work and protect themselves. Because if you're working with people who have the virus, you're at really high risk and they need the masks way more than those of us who um, aren't doing I'm that. I'm a doctor. I'm not the I'm not the doctor. I'm a figure skater. You're and, a figure skater. I and know. And a so, scientist. So as a scientist, if you're not working with these patients, you don't need like 30 boxes of the masks because they're running out of them in the hospitals. We need to let the hospitals have the masks. And that's important. This next question deals with treatment. And it comes from Cousin Carleen. She would like to know, is it true that drinking hot liquids can kill the virus? No, that, that is not true. That will not do anything to the virus at all. Only. Yeah, that's too preventive. But drinking a hot liquid, there, there are a lot of emails and stuff and stuff people are forwarding on text messages out there like this thing about hot liquids killing the virus that, that are just not true. So please, when you're trying to learn things about the virus, yeah. go to websites you can rely on. The like Center us. for like, So like you're good, but even better is the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC, the National Institutes of Health, the NIH. And us. They will give you reliable information about the virus. But and the email us. chains that are spreading rumors. Please treat those with, with a lot of questions. Ishara Science Club. Ishara Science Club. And we us. do our best to bring you the most accurate information because that is really important. That what do scientists do? We tell the truth. Yeah. Here we are at our last question. The question is: What vitamins or medicines can we take to help prevent getting infected with the coronavirus? The same thing. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, if, if you normally take multivitamins, you should continue to take them, but we haven't found any vitamins or medicines that can prevent the coronavirus, and like Shara had said earlier. However, they have just recently started a big scientific study across the whole world where they're going to test four different kinds of medicines to see if they can treat and hopefully cure the coronavirus, but we don't know uh, whether those are going to work or not. We really hope they do. And uh, me too. Ishara had said, talked about the vaccine. The vaccine probably will not be available for another year because that's how long it takes to figure out if the vaccine is safe because we'll only give it if it's safe for people and if it actually stops the coronavirus. If it stops it? Because if it doesn't do anything, then why should we give you a shot? So it takes a year to figure all that out. Daddy, and make the vaccine and if, available. And if it works? If it works, then that's wonderful. Then we can stop people from getting sick, and that will be a wonderful thing. But I know one of your previous videos, um, you talked about Dr. Max Cooper and the B cells that make antibodies. There is one more thing that may give us hope, that in people who get better from coronavirus, if we can look at their antibodies and find the antibodies that their own body made to stop the virus, maybe we could give those antibodies to people who are sick and it will stop, those antibodies will stop the virus in the sick people too. So that is a really interesting uh, thing that scientists are working on and that is why science and what Ashara is doing in her science club is so important. So we can make these discoveries to help people. So we hope those antibodies and people who got better from coronavirus um, can help other people who are sick with it. So yeah, there's your B cell that you showed and maybe those B cells might be the key to helping people who are sick. Ashara, great job today. Yeah, this was wonderful. I do like my B cell. We love, love the B cell. Say bye-bye, friend. Bye-bye.
Love.